Hey everybody, welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star. I'm Shannon Somerville. This is Tyler Weeman. We are about to break down Thanks. some daily fantasy baseball projections. It's kind of a on deck light version today though, because we're just gonna be talking about tonight's games. But you're gonna wanna stay tuned because we do have some weather to get to in one of the games although I don't think it's going to impact. So here's a quick weather rundown of our two night games tonight. We've got Cubs at Braves, 75 degrees, so nice temperatures, no chance of rain there, and just a very light six-mile-an-hour wind in from center. Then taking a look at the Diamondbacks at Cardinals, this is where we do have a chance of showers that could lead to a delay. Postponement, very unlikely, though. If anything, they'll just play through a brief shower. So just keep an eye on that. Something to note for today. And taking a look at the slate today, obviously just got these mm -hmm. two games. So it's going to be a little bit different today in that we're basically running through all of the pictures that yeah. are going to be out there. Limited options mm -hmm. today. So we'll just go through it here. St. Louis Cardinals right-handed pitcher Dakota Johnson going up against the D-backs. I was a bit surprised to see him as the number one owned in fantasy for the night slate 46 percent owned and started off the season a bit shaky but he's coming off his best outing where he recorded six and two-thirds scoreless it was against the reds though who uh aren't the best in fact probably one of the more anemic offenses in the league but so are the diamondbacks and so as my grandma would say i like playing the reds you yeah <laughs> tyler's grandma loves playing the reds yep. and uh i'm sure that hudson did as well Today, I'm sure he's loving playing the Diamondbacks, who are also struggling at mm -hmm. the plate. What do you see from him? And are you surprised at all that he is the number one owned in the night slate? I'm a little bit surprised that he's the number one. But also, when we say he is the highest owned, we also probably should mention that the lowest owned isn't that much lower owned. You know, he's coming in at like 46. And then on FanDuel, it's roughly about the same but Humberto Castellanos is like 44% mm -hmm. owned. So there's really not a huge so not difference. Not, yeah, not a yeah, big difference. Yeah, with pitching ownership today, it doesn't really matter. Play who you want. Uh, with Hudson, he's a fairly average pitcher, mid fours fit. ERA is usually right around there. He has a super low 18% K rate. Shouldn't say super low, but it is low. Uh, people are using him more so because it's, the Arizona offense. Yes. Arizona striking out 27% of the time. They have the 24th lowest WRC plus versus righties. So that's really why people are kind of going that way. Less about Hudson's ability, more about yeah. Diamondbacks and just not being able to. Hudson's not bad. He's right. just kind of average with everything. Sure. Let's take a look now at Chicago Cubs southpaw mm -hmm. Drew Smiley going up against the Braves today. He got touched up for four and four runs in five innings pitched, including a couple bombs his last time out. However, he hasn't hadn't given up a run in his previous two starts, mm -hmm. so maybe a little inconsistency with him. We're not really sure what to expect. He's not a high strikeout guy, and he hasn't gone past five innings. Doesn't walk a ton of guys, though, mm -hmm. and the Braves' career average versus Smiley, 244. Um, what are you expecting from him today? It, it's hard to kind of judge on this year's numbers. It is hard to kind of judge. I mean, obviously, this year is a small sample size. Sure. He, he is an, unconsi or an inconsistent pitcher where he can have great games, yeah. can have some strikeouts, but then he also has games where he just totally gets blown up. It also should note that Smiley was on the Braves only a couple years ago. So there is a chance there is some ah. extra little scouting there that, you know, they have with sure. him. So I think the Braves offense could be a, a decent spot today. And if I was to rank Smiley, he would probably be the third pitcher today okay. that I would have. So let's take a look then at the mm -hmm. team they're facing. And the mm -hmm. guy on the hill for them is righty Kyle Wright going up against the Cubs. He's also... 45% owned, mm -hmm. so not too far off from anyone else. He ditched, dished 11 strikeouts against the Marlins. He's just been having an awesome season and just a really great really story for him. He was the fifth overall pick in 2017. Things were looking great. Then 2020 comes, starts kind of stumbling a bit. Mm -hmm. Last year was in the minors all season up until he made that mm -hmm. start in the world, or he came up in the World Series. 
but he still had to battle back for a spot in the rotation uh, just a month ago. And now he's just been one of the best pitchers in baseball. In fact, here's a cool stat for you. Among pitchers who have faced 50 hitters, the underlying stat cast metrics actually have him as baseball's second best regular pitcher. That's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. What do you think from you're seeing from him today versus the Cubs, who are actually a really good offense? In fact, they lead the league in batting average. Yes, and they're third in WRC+. Uh, the one thing, though, is they are middle of the road with ISO, okay. So, which is telling us that, like, yes, they're getting on base, they're hitting the ball, but they're not hitting it very hard. They're getting okay. very few extra base hits. Uh, so that is one thing to note. Um, but Kyle Wright's just been amazing this year. He's throwing his curveball 20% more than he was last year. And it's also seen a little more movement mm -hmm. and it's been just way more effective. Uh, he's also barely using his slider and his fastball is actually two miles an hour faster. So there has been a change in him mm -hmm. and from a mechanical, from standpoint. a mechanical standpoint, right. he's absolutely, I think the best pitcher on this slate. Over his last five starts, he has a 1.84 mm -hmm. FIP. Over a 30, he has like a 35% strikeout rate, which is extremely high. Uh, so his combined K rate for today, I think it was 27%. He, by far, I think is the best pitcher. And tonight. when you were talking, we were talking before the show, getting ready, and you were mentioning that note about the curveball usage. When we were talking about that, I actually yeah. looked up Seiya Suzuki's numbers against the curveball because. That was originally mm -hmm. somebody I was thinking about for a home run call. Because you mm -hmm. know I'm not scared of good no, pitchers. You're not. I'll go up against you them will. for my home run calls. And in fact, Seiya Suzuki just not as good against curveballs. So it made me a little a little bit nervous. But Wright definitely has the right stuff. Is that really <laughs> cheesy? Yeah. Okay, guys. Super cheesy. All right. But I mean it it's true. He <laughs> anytime the best pitcher or the best hitter is going to be nullified by the pitcher a little bit using his best pitch, you have some cause cons for concern for that offense. I will see myself out later for that joke. That's cool. Denim, denim, <laughs> denim. <-backed. laughs> yes, we are team blue today, <laughs> by the way. And uh, I was saying this joke the other day. Our audience needs to hear this oh, joke boy. for sure. What do Mario and Luigi wear to a picnic? <laughs> denim, denim, denim. I yes. told him that joke. The other day. Uh, so, off, anyways, I have a jokes. denim look today. I think it's called chom chambre. I don't know. Good old uh, Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, enough about my fashion. Let's talk about Diamondbacks nice. righty Umberto Castellanos. Just reinstated from the paternity list. He's kind of split his time between being a starter, mm -hmm. being a reliever. He, as a starter, he's one to know with a two ERA and nine innings pitch. Um, Cardinals. 11th best batting average. What do you see from his matchup today? I, the one thing that I would like to point out here is that his pitch count is going to be a little, a little bit limited. I think he's maxed out right around 60 pitches. So most he probably sees a 70-ish. Uh, and the other thing to note is that Arizona actually has the worst bullpen in the league. Interesting to note. Uh, so as far as Castellanos, I see him as probably the lowest upside of the three pitchers. Okay. Uh, he, he's decent. Sure. But again, he's had two starts and he was a reliever before that. Good point. Well, yeah. let's take a look at some of the hitters who will be facing those guys today and see where we can maybe stack some guys. Mm -hmm. And when you're looking at this lineup in our line star projections, loving the Braves today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's really, one, it's there at home. It's against Smiley, who the Braves used to have as a pitcher. Uh, so all of that is good for him. Sm the one thing with Smiley, though, is he does limit hard contact. His hard contact rate is the lowest of all four starters today at 17%. Uh, so with that, that's my only cause of concern. The other thing is the Cubs actually have a decent bullpen. Okay. So yeah, there are two fun. reasons that you may not want to go the Braves. Mm -hmm. The Braves are also going to be the highest on offense. So in that respect, you're just playing 
almost like against your other opponents. Exactly. If, if I mean, all the starters are pretty much the same ownership. Yeah. The Braves are yeah. the highest owned. So you're just trying to look for any leverage you can against the e- field. Exactly. And the Braves may not be where it is tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, with this small game slate, you also probably don't want to stack as much as you normally would. Good point. So, you know, like you can still have a couple Braves. And I would say having a Braves and Smiley as a pitcher isn't that big of a deal on such sure. a small slate. But I would limit to, limit to like maybe one. Mm-hmm. One hitter against my pitcher. How about the Cubs on the other side of that matchup? So the Cubs, third in WRC+, plus, like I mentioned, 17th in ISO, so they're not hitting the ball as hard. Uh, they are the second highest owned uh, offense today. Personally, against Kyle Wright, I think that number is inflated. Okay. And I probably wouldn't be going there too much. Sure. Uh, yeah, like we mentioned, Wright's just been phenomenal this season. And mm-hmm. until he has a bad game, I'm trying to stay away from him a bit. Uh, ride the hot hand, <laughs> right? <laughs> Cardinals going up against Castellanos. What do you see from the Cards offense in this one? So the Cardinals in Arizona are who we're going against or who we're going to talk about next. They are the two lower owned sure. offenses. So keep that in mind. Arizona has the worst relieving, relief pitching in the league. Right. So I automatically kind of interested especially because Humberto was a reliever he may not go that far into the game good point but Arizona's allowing a 268 average and a 291 Babbitt uh like for their relievers so it, if they get to that bullpen early they could really make some noise that's awesome uh we like to see that mm-hmm. especially you do really have to consider the bullpens when you go into some of these matchups especially when you have a small slate like today totally. got to take everything into mm-hmm. consideration now on the other side of things do you like anything about the diamondbacks i mean they are bottom of the barrel in just yeah. about every batting category so is or is anyone on the diamondbacks worth taking Arizona is definitely the least owned offense today. As I talked about earlier too, Hudson's not spectacular at anything. You mm-hmm. know, he's pretty average. He can get hit. And so I wouldn't shy away from the Diamondback, especially as far as a leverage spot. Uh, but they are absolutely the worst offense of the four. So, you know, don't go crazy and just have like a, five-man stack of them but (laughs) you know like i would absolutely sprinkle them in all right so that's a look at some daily fantasy if you're playing those games tonight good luck to you right now though it is time for our home run calls and i have to lead off this segment with a bit of a cautionary tale yesterday i went with anthony rizzo because i had seen the day before a little recency bias he had three bombs and then doesn't come through for me yesterday whereas John Carlo did and Mm -hmm. you know just kind of went with my heart on that one over what the numbers were saying and you know my home run pick Matt Olson had the hardest hit ball of his career yesterday it just man just didn't go out yeah he got a double instead of a home run it happens we'll try to redeem ourselves today though with our calls who are you going with I am going to St. Louis with Nolan Arenado. Okay. He is hitting 375 this year. He has five home runs. And I want to pick on Humberto and the Arizona bullpen. All right. Where I'm going today is probably the biggest storyline of the day in Major it League is. Baseball. And that is Ronald Acuna Jr. is back. Yeah. He is back. Got the call up. He will be leading off tonight for Atlanta. This is nine months after tearing his ACL. He's eight days ahead of schedule, mm-hmm. and he's been doing well in his minor league starts so far. He's expected to hit leadoff tonight, so that's very mm-hmm. that's a good thing. We like that. So I just think him being back, he's just such a phenomenal player, and I don't know if people forgot that in the time he's been <laughs> out. Probably not, but we've got a righty back going up against a lefty pitcher, so I love that who is giving up a 438 slugging to righty bats. And then last season, Acuna had a 635 slugging against left-handed pitching. So I just love that matchup right there. And he's also my, I mean, I think he's going to be a player of the year candidate. So uh, it starts today, people. Ronald Acuna Jr. is back and he's going to hit a bomb. I just like the storyline too. 
I, the storyline's great. I he's a phenomenal player. One of the player. best players of the yeah. year, I think. I think he'll end up being. All right, like let's <laughs> let's take a look at your prop bets for today. Again, a situation where we're just mm-hmm. looking at the night games and picking from there. So we had a bit of a limited sample size to choose Absolutely. from. Absolutely. So where are you going with yours? I am going to the Atlanta Braves and going Kyle Wright over 6.5 Ks. It's at minus 110. Okay. He's done this in two or three starts. His combined K rate today is 27.6%. And as we mentioned earlier, their best hitter, Suzuki, has a 80-point lower average versus curveballs, which is yes. Wright's best pitch. Yep. I, I love that pick for you. Uh, Kyle Wright's mm-hmm. just been – what a great story. Where I'm going with my pick is Seth Beer to get a hit at minus 150. And I do – I kind of see minus 150 isn't the most attractive thing in the world, but mm-hmm. I do kind of – I feel like it should be at least minus 175 or something because he has a – all right, so uh, you see some average. value there. Yeah, a little bit. He has a batting average over 300, and you, so you might be wondering, you know, what's going on there. Well, he hasn't gotten a hit in five games. He's mm-hmm. very cold right now at the plate, but I think he writes himself today. He has uh, – the only success Hudson has really had this season was against the Reds, mm-hmm. and the Reds, the Reds are, I think – second lowest batting average. So Mm -hmm. I think that Hudson hasn't proven himself quite yet. So I think Beer, he was actually in consideration for a home run pick today for me, but I ended up deciding not to. I think he will get a hit though tonight and kind of write himself Mm -hmm. back on the path. Mm, There you have it. The master (laughs) of props is taking an Arizona player who Arizona has the lowest, lowest ownership on the slate too. After I had just talked about how, the Diamondbacks were not hitting well. Well, there you have it. I yeah. do think Seth Beer has a good favorable matchup today, though. All right. So be sure to follow us on Twitter and visit linestarapp.com if you would like to optimize your lineup. Be sure to download the app as well. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to click like and subscribe. Or if you just want to leave comments about how bad my jokes are, Go, go ahead and leave them right there. Or tell her a new one. She needs a couple. <laughs> yeah, or bring me some new material. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Best of luck to you and bet responsibly, guys. See Have you a good one. Bye.